Tommy V in Michigan. He was on fire this morning. Hey, thank you, Tommy V in Michigan. Th that, yes, sir. If you, if you share my prayers. Mm -hmm. my Tommy V's on. Yeah, we'll jump over there. Tommy V doing great stuff over there. Okay. All right. We're going to do the gentleman that's in the hospital, do his arraignment first. Um, in case you didn't already notice, we are live on YouTube for a little while. So just keeping that in mind. Deputy Howard, can you join us? Hello, sir. What's your name? My name is Lamar Parker. All right. I don't know if you heard me say that we're on YouTube today, Mr. Parker. Not getting cool. Just letting you know. Um, I'm sorry. I'm having some trouble with my computer. I'm just letting you know so that you are not uh, surprised by that. Okay. Um, I'm okay. not going to get any contact information from you since we are on YouTube, but Mr. Bowling, when you get a chance to forward that information, if you could please do that. Will do. This is State of, State of Michigan versus Lamar Parker, 24FB1246. I will appoint the Public Defender's Office. Go ahead when you're ready, Mr. Bowling. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Brian Bowling, Assistant Public Defender, on behalf of Mr. Parker. Um, Your Honor, the complaint was not ready when I spoke to Mr. Parker earlier today, so I would request a formal meeting of the charges. The complaint in this matter states that on or about May 17th, 2024, in Ypsilanti Township, Washtenaw County, Michigan, defendant is accused in count one of committing the crime of homicide, charged as open murder and has a maximum penalty of life in prison. The alleged uh, victim, the decedent, is Nicholas Jernigan. Count two is a charge of carrying a concealed weapon that has a maximum penalty of five years and or 2,500. Count three is a charge of being in possession of a firearm when prohibited by law that has a Maximum penalty of five years and or 5,000. Count four is being in possession of ammunition when prohibited by law. That is also five years and or 5,000. And count uh, five is being in possession of a firearm at the time a felony was being committed, the felony being the open murder charge. That charge is two years that needs to be served if convicted consecutively with any preceding term of imprisonment imposed for the underlying felony. We'd waive formal, or I'm sorry, stand mute to those charges, Your Honor, and just ask for an opportunity to address bond. All right, thank you. Go ahead, Mr. Um, Emmons. Your Honor, I think that the, uh, the bond form that the court should be in receipt of uh, speaks to a lot of the circumstances uh, surrounding the in altercation, but but ultimately this is a homicide case and therefore um, pursuant to the court rule and the statute, we're asking um, for the court to deny uh, pretrial release. Okay. Did you, um, I, I know Detective Morrison was on a moment ago. Do you need any of the sheriff's deputies or detectives to say anything? I have not reached out to any of them. Um, okay. So if they had anything that they wanted to add, um, uh, in yeah. addition to, um, I'd invite them to make such a request. Okay. Detective hey, Morrison, did you want to make a statement today? No, Your Honor, um, you took the swear too, so you're aware of all the uh, information. I did, and I am. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Bowling, go ahead when you're ready. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, just a little information for you about Mr. Parker. He is 45 years old. Um, Your Honor, I don't see anything on a criminal history um, getting to the nature of count one in this matter. Um, 
Mr. Parker indicates to me that this was a result of a self-defense situation. Um, he is employed, um, self-employed, running a lawn service company. Um, he and his family did just recently move to Toledo, Ohio, Your Honor. Um, so that's why he, um, the court-appointed attorney for him, did not have a current address because he could not remember that off the top of his head uh, when I spoke to him earlier today. But he did provide me a phone number that should be on the court-appointed attorney for him. Um, your Honor, I'd always ask the court to consider granting a personal bond um, to Mr. Parker. Obviously, he's been not convicted of anything as he sits here right now. Um, but obviously, I'll leave that to your discretion. Thank you, Judge. Uh, Mr. Parker, the court rule that um, controls pretrial release considerations is Michigan Court Rule 6.106. Subsection A states that the, uh, I'm sorry, subsection B states the court may deny pretrial release to a defendant that is charged with murder. It's the general policy of the courts in Washtenaw County, my court, as well as the other courts to deny bond when someone is charged with murder based on that court rule. So I am denying your bond today. That means that you do not have any amount of money that you can post to leave the custody of the sheriff's department. When you're able to leave the hospital, you will be taken to the Washtenaw County Jail. While you're on bond, you're not to use illegal drugs, do not purchase or possess any firearms or other weapons or ammunition, no contact with the uh, family of Nicholas Jernigan, including his wife, Kiana, or her family members. I know you're married to Kiana's sister, or I believe that you are. You may have contact with her. Um, but not the other family members. I'm not. I'm not telling you you can't speak to your uh, to your wife. Okay. Your Honor, uh, is a, Your Honor, it's a self defense case. That's not. Uh, that's not before me today. Okay. And uh, my dis my job is not to decide what actually happened. So you represented by the public defender's office at your next hearing, your bond can be addressed at that time um, and modified if that's appropriate. Your next hearing will be on uh, May 30th at 9 a.m. with Judge Simpson. Okay, anything else on this matter? Okay, all right, thank Another you. Further from the uh, I was just gonna say, while you had the file in front of you, I missed the case number. Could I get that please? Yes, 24F, like Frank, B, like boy, 1246. Thank you, Judge. And Mr. Bowling, I don't believe we have the court-appointed lawyer form from you. So when you oh. when you can, if you can send that along, we'll put it in the file. Uh, okay, no, uh, Deputy. Right thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Parker. Deputy Howard, we're all set. I'm sorry, Your Honor, if I could just get the PCC date again. Uh, that is the 30th, May 30th. Thank you. All right. Um, I think the person we want to see next is um, Mr. Fleming. Can we get Mr. Fleming's microphone on? I, I don't know if they can hear me. Mr. Fleming, can you walk to the door and let the corrections officers know we're ready to proceed? They'll get that microphone turned on for you. You can sit back down. Thank you. Go ahead and state your name, sir. Um, Ronald Fleming. All right, Mr. Fleming, you provided a phone number and an email to the public defender. Is it all right with you if I use those uh, methods? If I put those in your file for the court to contact you? Yes, that's fine. Okay, thank you. This is State of Michigan versus Ronald Fleming. 24FB1245. I will sign the petition requesting a court appointed lawyer. Go ahead when you're ready, Ms. Virgils. 
Assistant Public Defender Chelsea Virgils with and on behalf of Ronald Fleming. We would waive a formal reading of the complaint and mute and ask to address the one. Go ahead, Mr. Emmons. Your Honor, thank you again, Your Honor. And again, Jonathan Emmons on behalf of the people. Um, likewise, in this case, this is a case of homicide, open open murder. Um, we're going to ask the court accordingly, pursuant to the court rule, um, to deny uh, pretrial release in this position. The underlying circumstances are well laid out in the bond form as well. Um, it's, it's obviously there's going to be a, a contested defense. Um, and that's one that I think ultimately is best left for a jury to decide. Um, however, I would suggest that the information that we have doesn't really bear out that that defense is, is that there's a lot of weight behind that defense. Um, that being the case, Your Honor, I also take the, take, have the court take into consideration the actions of the defendant after uh, the thing, after the incident was, the crime was committed um, in trying to cover up what he had done. Um, I think speaks to a, a lot of concern um, for what he had done, uh, the intent behind what he had done, um, and gives me a great amount of concern of what might happen, um, you know, if if he were to be released. So for those reasons, I ask that he remain in the care and custody of the Washtenaw County Sheriff's Department. Thank you. Go ahead, Ms. Virgils. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I understand that there is a possibility of bond denial in this case, but I wanted to put a few things on the record. Um, I would argue that my client is not a danger to the community, as um, from what I can tell, he does not have a criminal history in Michigan. He denies having any criminal history, and he is not a drug user, and he is also not on probation or parole at this time. Um, he has family, including his mother and siblings, close by in Toledo, Ohio. Um, if released, he would stay with his mother in Toledo. He does not know his her address at this time, and I understand we have to confirm that before he's able to be released. Um, as always, I would ask for a personal bond or you know, consider not denying bond. In this Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Fleming, um, the court rule that controls pretrial release and bond considerations is Michigan Court Rule. 6.106 sub B states that if the court may deny pretrial release to a defendant that is charged with murder, it is the ordinary and usual policy of the courts in Washtenaw County to deny bond when someone is charged with murder. So your bond is denied at this time. Your court date will be on May 30th at 9 a.m. That will be in person with Judge Simpson. While you are on bond, you're not to use illegal drugs, don't commit any crimes, no firearms, weapons, or ammunition. Okay, you're all set when you're ready. You can walk to the door, Mr. Fleming. Thank you. Thank you, Honor. Thank you. Can you give us all of you too, please? 